Hey YouTube, it's really bad lighting and um, really bad sound, really bad everything, but I decided to make a video for once. Yeah, the video is about me trying Japanese snacks for the first time. If I try a piece of candy, I don't know if it's Japanese or Korean, but don't get offended because I'm not that smart. And I also can't read Japanese or Korean, so I won't pronounce names correctly. So I'm sorry beforehand. This is how it is, and I hope you enjoy. I really do hope so. Snacks! I also have some drinks, but they're in the fridge right now. I don't want them to get hot. But first, let's start with Meiji Choco Baby. Meiji. I don't know how to pronounce it. It has shellac in it, and apparently that's the thingy that you put on tables to make them shiny. So I got a little scared. I hope it tastes good. I guess it's edible, I'm presuming. If it's not edible, I guess I won't be alive by the end of this video. But I like Meiji. Meiji. I've had some of their candy before. I can't do it. Ow. Well, that's too many. I don't want that many. Especially all this shallot I'm gonna be consuming. Hmm. I was kind of expecting it to be crunchy like a hump, but really soft and chewy. It tastes like it's pretty cheap chocolate. I'm a fan of all types of chocolate, no matter how cheap. But it does taste pretty cheap. It doesn't have to be shiny. They could have done it without the shellac. But it's still pretty good. It was really expensive too. It was like four whole dollars. I give this probably like a four out of ten. I'm a harsh judge. Number two. So the brand looks like Uha with a little guy right there. I think that's the brand. I think this is Japanese. Mm, it's Japanese. I'm really excited about this because I don't know how to read Japanese, so I have no clue what this says, but this looks like ice cream, and it's not cold. On the back, I just see the nutrition facts. It has an English title. It is Soft Candy Mika Kuto Yokohama Matcha Ice Cream. Let's figure it out. Oh, they're smaller than I expected. They're kind of cute. Okay, so it's not actually an ice cream cone. I guess it just tastes like ice cream. It's actually kind of cool. I was hoping that Japan was so far advanced that they'd already invented ice cream that doesn't melt. It's chewy. It kind of reminds me of like salt water taffy, that kind of consistency. They have the creamy stuff in the middle, but it does taste like matcha, it tastes like green tea. This is really good. I really like this. You should get this. Okay, so I give this nine out of 10. Number three, this is called Sutsuku, Susu, probably Susu. By Uha, the same brand as the last one. This is what it looks like. Oh, and there's the little guy again. In the top they have a picture of flan, which makes me think, is this flavored like flan? Because I really like flan. There's um, high fructose corn syrup in this, and I really don't like high fructose corn syrup. So it's like the same little package as the last one. Nifty, nifty, nifty. nifty. Oh, look, they have little dogs on them. It's smaller than the last one, but it looks just like the packaging. What it looks like. Ooh! I was expecting it to be chewy like the last one. Waving at my dog. It really does taste like flan. And the consistency, because you know on the flan, you have this really hard part that's crunchy, and it kind of sticks in your teeth. That's what it tastes like. That's the consistency. But it's really good. You should suck on it instead of chewing it, because that was, that was a sharp bite. It woke up my dog. I gave this a 7 out of 10, because it's really good. <laughs> Last but not least, I got these because it's pink and it's Hello Kitty and I love the color pink. It's called Hello Kitty Strawberry Marshmallow. I love marshmallows even though I'm a vegetarian. Gelatin is my weakness. And there's jelly inside. This is what it looks like in case you want to buy it. I have high hopes for this. It's squishy and it smells like strawberry. I highly enjoy this. The good news is I don't think there's much um, food coloring in it because the jelly inside isn't as heavily pigmented as it suggests down here, which is healthier for you. That's really good. I give this probably like 
a seven out of ten as well. Seven. On to the drinks. Drinks. First off, we have yogurt time. Yogurt flavored drink, and it's white peach flavored. I've never had like a white peach flavor before, so I'm going to try it because I like peaches. And I thought it was a pretty color. What? I'm sorry. Ah. Oh no, I'm taking the label off. The label's cute too. Okay, we'll let us drink. This is really good. It doesn't taste like yogurt, but it tastes like peach, and I love it. it smells like peach. I could just have this vapor in my room. I could have put this in like one of my one of those water the thingies that you put liquid in them and it turns them into mist. I could put this in one of those and it would make my room smell good and I'd love it. Oh man, it's really sweet. Most Japanese drinks are really sweet. If this is Japanese, I think it's Japanese, I don't know. I'm gonna assume it's Japanese. Eastern Asian drinks are really sweet, so I'm used to it, but it's really good. I really enjoy them. I give this nine out of 10. Cal Pico or Cal Piso. It's not called Cal Pico in Korea or Japan or wherever it's from. It's called C-A-L-P-I-S. Calpis. That kind of sounds like cow piss. Calpis. 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 So they changed the name in America. You can see the old name on the lid. But this is the new name. Funny story. I was looking for one of these drinks for like a year. Because I didn't realize they were in the farmer's market and I thought I had to wait till a convention. So I finally got one at a convention. I got strawberry. And it was amazing. It tastes like the strawberry acai refresher with coconut milk instead of water. If you get that at Starbucks, it's called the pink drink in short. So if you want to try what the strawberry flavor of this, get the pink drink at Starbucks. It tastes just the same. Then at the farmer's market, I tried one of the original flavors and I didn't like it as much. I don't know, this is weird flavor that I didn't enjoy. But I'm going to try lychee, lychee, leech e. Smells interesting. I guess it's just the lychee smell. It's really sweet. It tastes like fruit. That's probably what lychee tastes like. I've never had lychee on its own before. I want to, but I don't know where to get it. But I think it's good. Not as good as strawberry because I just like strawberry. But overall, probably like seven out of ten. Next time, I'm gonna try white peach because I really like the yogurt. Ramune. So I saved the best for last. Presuming this is the best. It looks like Shirakiku brand. It's a carbonated ramenade drink. And I would have gotten the one that actually says ramenade I usually get, but that one wasn't as green. That means less food coloring, so it's better. But I don't know, I thought this was pretty. And this is the label. Mm. <laughs> I'm not strong, I'm really weak. Mm. I did it! Ta-da! See, now it's all carbonated. A little ball fell down. That's interesting. Tastes like melon. I would bite for the color, not really the taste. It tastes fine. It tastes like a sweet carbonated soda with that melony flavor. I prefer the pink one or the original. I'm gonna say six out of 10. Thank you guys for watching my video. You should subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it if you did, and also like comment down things that I should try. Blah blah blah. Subscribe, like, favorite, comment, nice things. Only I don't take criticism well. I'm a very sensitive person. But it was really fun. Mm -hmm.